Sri Lanka is a very vibrant and dynamic country with a lot to offer. And um, after a 30-year um, war, right, um, Sri Lanka has now opened up. And um, we have uh, a lot of areas that were inaccessible before are open to people, open to tourists to go visit uh, and um, enjoy. We have areas like uh, Pasikuda, Kalpitya, um, Arugambe. These are very um, exciting uh, destinations within the country. Sri Lanka offers a very diverse product because within a four hour period, you can go from the beach to the hills. You know, where the climate is also very different. Uh, have you been to Sri Lanka? Yes, you have. Right, so you know what, it's quite exciting. We also have a lot of uh, entertainment now in the country. We have, in addition to, of course, the historical sites, the cultural sites, uh, the temples and all of that, we also have a lot of um, entertainment now in the country. You know, all over the island, wherever you go, um, there are new and um, new restaurants that have opened up and places to go visit, hang out, after you've done the cultural sites and all that kind of thing. It's not just, for example, say, um, not just the beaches and not just the cultural sites. It's, it's the diverse product range that we offer within a small island, right? So you, you have all of that uh, in one place. So a new product that we are try, uh, getting ready to launch in India is the Ramayana Trail. We are in the development stage of that. Uh, we find that there's a lot of uh, sites that are interrelated and connected to the Ramayana Trail and that we're trying to develop that as a product to market in India. Uh, so that's something very new. Um, also we find that the Indian market likes coming to Sri Lanka for the shopping and of course the close proximity makes travel to Sri Lanka quite easy. Well, our prime markets uh, are, of course, uh, Europe and China. Um, in, I mean, Ch Ch Europe, China, India, and the Middle East are prime markets.